just signed your first professional contract with West Ham United. Yeah. First of all, tell us how do you feel? I think it's a massive achievement for me and my family, and I can only thank like the people around me that support me every day to get where I am today. Yeah, as you mentioned, it must be a very proud day for um, yourself and your family. Um, how have they supported you um, as you were growing up and now obviously getting your pro contract? Uh, I think just supporting me along the way. As a kid, you, everyone wants to be a footballer, but I think everyone knew that I was probably really serious about becoming a professional footballer. And each year, they just help me get to where I am, just keep supporting me. And then what is it about West Ham that makes you want to um, sign your pro contract with the club? Uh, I just want to give myself extra time for me to work and try to prove to fans that I could become a really great player. So I'm just working as hard as I can with the time that I can use just to prove everyone and the fans. And the club um, is now playing at um, the new London Stadium. What would it mean to you to um, make your Premier League debut there? I think that would be a dream for me. Obviously, that's the main goal for me to kind of work through the ranks of West Ham, through the academy, the 23s and the first team. Hopefully, eventually, in a couple of years or sooner than that, I'll be happy to make my debut at the Olympic Stadium. Uh, what, what sort of things would you describe yourself as a goalkeeper? Uh, I would describe myself as a goalkeeper who's kind of depends on his reflexes and probably my footwork as well. It's probably my main, one of my main attributes to kind of help the team play up from the back and I think is a massive boost to the team. The club's showing a lot of intent um, by signing up young players, it's showing a lot of faith in um, young players. Is that um, another factor in, that made you want to sign? Yeah, that was probably a main factor in me wanting to sign because, you know, your work is obviously is never, it's always seen around the academy and you'll be given the chance if, if you deserve it, so yeah. And how supportive um, have the coaches, the likes of Terry and Liam, how, have they, um, how, how supportive have they been to you? Uh, Terry and Liam have been very supportive to me, obviously, not just them, obviously JJ, my coach as well. It's probably the, those three are the main people who probably pushed me to where I am now and I think it's important for them to kind of keep on to me, to keep pushing me. And you had a, um, a call up for the England youth squad um, recently. Um, how um, excited are you by the fact that you might be able to represent them in the future? Yeah, I was really happy to be called up by England. Obviously, it's a massive achievement for me. And I just want to keep getting called up and try to earn my first cap for England. And there's um, lots of competition um, at the club at the moment. Obviously, you've got the first team goalkeepers, um, Adrian, Darren, Raphael, Spiegel. Um, also, you've got Sam Howes and Riyadz as well in the youth setup because there's lots of competition. Um, here. Is that something that pleases you? Uh, yes, I quite like competition because I don't see it as a negative thing. I think it kind of helps me to become a better player myself, especially when you're training with first team goalkeepers like Randolph and Adrian. I think you get better as you train with people that are better than you. And um, for you this season, you've um, had quite a few appearances for the under 23s and you had that little injury, yeah. but now you've um, made your comeback. Um, what are your aims for the season ahead? Uh, I just want to probably establish myself as becoming the number one goalkeeper for 23s and just hopefully play week in, week out. I don't just kind of get used to the feeling of being number one. And are there any games this season that um, you've made like a, a really good save that you thought, oh, that, that was quite good, or any games that you've really played well in? Uh, usually I don't really, like, I don't really like, get to myself, like, if I make a good save or not. But if I had to pick one, it'd probably be Youth Cup, where I made the say from, I think, the lad who took a strike from about 28 yards out, 30 yards out. That'll be probably my best save this season.